De Bruyne, Holland, will Nkunku, ritualize and strike. It's time for the Manchester Derby on Sunday, a match that seems to particularly appeal to Norwegian goal machine Erling Holland. The city striker is back in top form after returning from injury, and in a 6-2 FA Cup win over Luton Town on Tuesday, Holland became the first player to score five goals in a match on two occasions for the club. Four of them were set up by regular partner in crime Kevin De Bruyne and the duo have now combined 16 times as a supplier and finisher. Despite their injuries this season, Holland is the Premier League's top scorer with 17 goals, while De Bruyne has provided 12 assists in all competitions after making his debut in January. Next up is Manchester United at the Etihad Stadium, a match that saw Holland score five goals in four games, including a hat trick at home last season, and two from De Bruyne, which also saw the former Borussia Dortmund striker provide two assists. It's coming, we're coming, Holland said after the win at Kenilworth Road. I finally feel good. It feels amazing. Exciting times ahead. We are ready to attack. Liverpool hopes to end another successful week with three points after defeating Chelsea in the League Cup final and then beating Southampton in the FA Cup, despite the absence of a group of key players due to injury. In the 3-0 win over Saints, Klopp named six players aged 21 or under in his starting lineup, with all the goals coming from teenagers. Jaden Dance scored twice on what he called the best day of my life, while Luis Comas scored the other on his debut. But senior players are set to return with top scorer Mohamed Salah returning to training next week, while manager Jurgen Klopp should have Andrew Robertson, Wateru Endo, Dominic Sobaslai and Darwin Nunez available for Saturday's trip to Nottingham Forest. And Klopp admitted on Friday that his young players were not ready for the spotlight. We all agree if we only put young boys on the field, they won't have any chance. They need direction and leadership, the German said. It was fantastic that night. Against Southampton, but now it's about dealing with the challenges ahead. From being harshly excluded by Bournemouth to being talked about as a potential winner of the Wolves Manager of the Year award, England manager Gary O'Neill's stock has never been higher. The 1-0 home win over bottom club Sheffield United last week may have lacked the notoriety of some of their wins this season, but it was three points that lifted Wolves into the top half of the table. It also means O'Neill's side are on course to emerge in Europe next season as they are just one point behind seventh-placed Brighton. Wolves have beaten reigning champions Manchester City, secured a double over Chelsea and Tottenham Hotspur, as well as secured draws against the likes of Aston Villa and Newcastle United. The team also qualified for the quarterfinals of the FA Cup, where it will face second-tier Coventry City for a place in the semi-finals. Next up is Newcastle United who are also looking to force their way into the European picture. Very happy, O'Neill said Friday. Every player on the team should be extremely proud of what they have been able to produce. If the expectations are to see us win the FA Cup and finish in Europe, this will definitely be the toughest part of the season. Another week and another spell on the sidelines for Chelsea's £52 million summer signing Christopher Nkunku. The striker, who scored 23 goals in 36 games for RB Leipzig last season, barely featured for his new club after suffering a serious knee injury in August that kept him out until December. Then a hip problem kept him out for a further three weeks before he returned to action looking far from fit. After coming on as a substitute against Liverpool last week, he has now suffered a hamstring injury, which means spending another month in the treatment room. The 26-year-old France international has scored just two goals in 10 appearances for Chelsea, who are 11th in the table. Winning the FA Cup where they face leaders Leicester City at Stamford Bridge in the quarterfinals is their most likely chance of reaching European football next season. However, the likes of Manchester City, Liverpool and Manchester United are still in that competition. He's a bit unlucky, said Pochettino of Nkunku, whose side play away to Brentford on Saturday. It's difficult for a player who hasn't played much. He was very good in pre-season, but it was a difficult season for him. Another London club to suffer an injury blow to a key striker is Tottenham Hotspur after Richarlison was ruled out for up to a month with a knee injury. The Brazilian has been in fine form for the North London club, scoring nine goals in his last ten Premier League appearances, 
but was caught in trouble during Tottenham's home defeat to Wolves two weeks ago. During the last match, Richie suffered a knee injury, so he will be out for three or four weeks, Tottenham coach Inge Postecoglou said before their guest match with Crystal Palace on Saturday. He had a great mid-season part for us and was a big contributor but that's the way his season has gone and we've just got to make up for him not being there. Tottenham currently occupies fifth place in the table, five points behind fourth-placed Aston Villa, although it has a game in hand.